Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Harbor VR Goggles. These are the VR Goggles. They measure 7.5 inches across, 5 inches deep, and 4 inches tall. The unit is made of a lightweight, hard shell plastic. The front opens downward and is held shut with a strong magnet. Inside, you'll need to place a smartphone with a decently high resolution screen to use the goggles properly. The phone will sit in this padded cradle that opens by squeezing the two latches together. Your phone must be less than three and a quarter inches wide, and no more than half an inch thick. This may require you to remove your phone from its case. Behind the cradle is a special blocking sleeve that will block out external light if the screen on your phone has a four to five inch diagonal. Larger screens will not require this insert. The cushion around the face of the headset is a soft faux leather with about a quarter inch of foam padding, which makes the goggles comfortable to wear. The goggles can be used hands-free by utilizing the soft elastic headbands on top. The back of the headband where the top and side bands meet has a soft, flexible plastic patch that rests against the back of your head. On either side and on top, you can adjust the lengths using the plastic strap adjusters. On top of the unit, you have a pupil distance or PD adjuster, which will change the spread of the lenses so you can focus on the screen and avoid double vision. There is also a focal distance adjuster to bring the image into sharper focus. Before putting your phone in, be sure to install the two foam tension pads on the inside of the door panel. While your phone is installed, you still have access to the headphone port and charging port on either side of the headset through these access holes. To get started, you can load up an app like Google Cardboard and start exploring. Here's a quick preview of a 360 degree museum tour video. By looking around, you can see the elements of the video all around you. There's a whole channel of YouTube dedicated to free 3D immersive content called YouTube 360. Just open up the video on your phone, then press the VR goggles icon on the bottom right corner. When your phone is in the goggles, it can get kind of heavy and tiring just sitting on your face. I still like to hold the goggles with my hands from time to time to keep the weight off my face. But it's nice that I can let go when my arms are tired. The one drawback to these goggles is that they lack a physical button on the outside to access touch capabilities on the screen, which some apps and games need to function. If you're sensitive to motion sickness, using the goggles for extended periods of time may make you feel nauseated. Also, if your phone screen or the lenses of the goggles get scratched, the flaws will be magnified, which may detract from your viewing experience. Overall, as a viewer, it performs well, and it's easy and comfortable to use. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.